piece. Damn. Damn. Happy now. Now's the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Matter of fact, right now, before I even go any further, uh, shout out to Mr. Seven, uh, Seven Bomar, Abana, I forgot the last name, sorry, my brother. <laughs> but uh, the Brethren Seven, uh, who has the videos on YouTube, shout out to that Brethren. I just came across his, uh, his videos as of lately, and great, uh, great information, brother, really connected. But, uh, but I was gonna say I had to give a shout out to him first because in fact when I heard him say this, I'm like, man, which I feel like I might have indirectly put this in one of my videos, but maybe not. But uh basically he spoke on money laundering, you know, but it's not the type of money laundering that you would, you know, you think of money laundering, you think I'm about the mob and having little businesses and this and that to uh so say clean the money, you know. But uh this money laundering has to do with crystals. I think I know. The crystal money laundering, but basically, uh, and it's not to say that old oh, money is dirty, like all money is bad, because we're not trying to get back into that place. As a matter of fact, it, depending on how long the little debt notes stay around anyway, you know what I'm saying? All that's about to, you know, crumble anyway. But just to speak on it, you know, while we're in the moment. Right now, it still has a little relevancy. So, you know, move with it, use it uh, while the energy is still relevant. But uh, using crystals to, to, to wash your money, you know, like it, you know, some, some money in some cases may, may have been used for some situations uh, that may be, you know, that may carry a certain energy that may throw off your energy or throw off the energy of what you're putting the money towards, you know, so. Uh, a good suggestion on the on the money laundering uh, tip. You know what you would do is just put these uh, crystals on top of your money, like uh, around your money. You know, just in the vicinity of you know wherever the cash flow at. You know, now uh, of course, and I thought about this because you know people would ask, them, what about your credit card? <laughs> what about that type of money? You know, it moves digitally. Digitally. So it's not necessarily touching hands or never necessarily was, you know, it's imaginary digits in essence. I mean, because even this is imaginary, to be honest, but because it has a piece of paper, you know, it has something that is physical that could hold a vibration, you know what I'm saying, compared to where I could check my PayPal account or Chase account from anywhere, so that money kind of, you know, doesn't have to do with a certain one particular material you know so that that would be the difference but uh you know the money made say for instance like a matter of fact you don't see money before like especially uh, <laughs> back in the hood you know you got a little blood spot on, on the uh on the money you know or things of this nature you know never know what uh you know what that money been through <laughs> So definitely just to, to make sure, you know, uh, no little energetic attachments of negativity is uh, dealing with it, you know, you might want to uh, clean it. And again, you would put the the crystals I, I thought of for sure, one of them, the brethren bought up was citrine and uh, I think maybe selenite, because that's what I was going to say too. You know, get you a piece of selenite, you know, sit it on top of that. Selenite, uh, citrine, you know, matter of fact, just to show y'all my little piece of, you know, little piece of citrine, little citrine, little juicy cluster, you know, uh, some citrine, uh, and me, myself, personally, I kind of caught the little download of shungite and black tourmaline, you know, shungite has that detoxifying vibration on a, a very high level. You know, so that would be uh, very good for, you know, keeping negativity away or pushing out negativity. And also black tourmaline, you know, that it speaks for itself, you know. So I uh, I would definitely say those those crystal citrine, selenite, shungite, and black tourmaline. And something tells me uh, jade and the green adventurine 
to kind of you know mix with that and maybe even a little piece of quartz but the quartz has to go along with the aventurine or jade as well but uh you know to so say for instance the the selenite or citrine or shungai black tourmaline is cleansing it and, and matter of fact citrine does this job on both sides citrine doesn't pick up on negativity it just cleanses matter of fact kyanite too Mm, I forgot about that black car night. See, that was a download within the video. So, black car night, another good one to do that with. But uh, and in it, all car nights, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, car night in general uh, does not pick up negativity. So that's another one you know that you could use. But the citrine not only keeps away negativity, but it's also good at promoting, you know, it's, it's known as the merchant stone. It attracts abundance and prosperity, you know. So it would it would be uh, good in essence in that manner to, you know, to kind of bring an abundant vibe to the money as well, as well as clean, cleaning it out. And that's what I was gonna speak on to use the, uh, the jade and green adventuring for, you know, to amplify that, that abundant vibration, you know, we, they call it good luck, but you know, synchronicity with money, uh, you know, however you want to call it, you know, but it definitely will help to bring, you know, a higher vibration and a, you know, abundant vibration to the, to the revenue as well. And again, though, we, we move into a place where, you know, the, the, the money is, uh, nothing is wrong with it. As a matter of fact, everything is new, that's another thing. Like, remembering that part, that side, that's the side missing. You know, everything is neutral until you, you know, you uh, do something with it. But then again, no matter what you're doing with it, there's no good or bad or, you know, None of, none of those things is it, you know, you're just being, you know what I'm saying, doing, like it's, it's uh, only when you put yourself into the good and bad places, like when you label your, something that you're doing, you know, then yeah, you're putting yourself in those uh, places and taking yourself away from the neutral spot, but uh, you know, everything is, is neutral. So again, with the money and crystals, and I always make the example with crystals. I'm like, at one time, you know, I pull out a, a crystal, somebody might jump. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, what are you about to do with that, man? He about to, you know, about to put a spell on us or something, you know? Nowadays, you bring a crystal, like, oh, it's a crystal, let me touch it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it uh, it's the person's intent and energy behind it, you know, which, takes it outside of its neutral position you know but with, with ourselves though for sure you know on a spiritual growth you know it's just all about that that middle place being an observer you know no good or no bad you know just that that seven ph level <laughs> you know, just for lack of a better word you know on the seven day where god rested on the seven ph level where source rested you know in that midpoint you know <laughs> Not too far in the future, <laughs> not too far in the past. Right now, not good, not bad, you know. It's in the middle of observing. You know. But uh definitely. But uh that, that's basically it, you know, uh money laundering matter of fact. Oh, another good crystal to bring in some uh some loving, you know, high vibrations as well. Parts, and you could also turn this into a grid. You know, have a, you know, money in the middle, and have a little crystal surrounding, and you know, visualize the energy coming up from you know the high dimensions, cleansing it, and you know, uh, cleaning it out, uh, bringing the how can I say abundant vibration even more strongly in it. But also, again, remember, you know. We, uh, this is in the moment for now, but, you know, we're moving to a place where, you know, at least the U.S. dollars, the U.S. debt notes, you know, are, are going to become uh, obsolete as we uh, move forward. But it's definitely something to uh, take note of and consider.
and also remember too, you know, because uh, everybody always miss, uh, misused this quote, and even I fell victim after hearing it said wrong so many times, I fell into it too. But you know, it's not, uh, which, to be honest with you, my affirmation is money is the root of all high vibrations and good. <laughs> Like, you know, that's, that's what I do with it in my in my uh, universe. But, like, it's, the, the real quote is, for the love of money, or the love of money is the root of all evil. So it's not the money itself, but it's the, you know, definitely, I mean, helicopter looking stuff. It's the love of money, you know, that, that makes it, you know, uh, a situation that may become, uh, you know, harmful to your being, you know, because then you'll start putting the money over certain spiritual practices or, you know, certain things that you're supposed to do spiritually or whatever the case may be, you'll be putting money over it. So that's when, you know, it's the love of it, not the actual money itself, you know. That's basically it. <laughs> Peace. Happy now. Now is the vibe rate. The rate at which we're vibing. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right now. Matter of fact, because I thought about it, like all all the <laughs> little dope boys trying to change their life around. <laughs> you know, all the, you know, the quote unquote dope money, man, you know, cleanse it with the crystals, man. Get that, uh, you know, that quote unquote, uh, bad karma for lack of a better word, you know, that, that harmful karmic energy from, from off of that, that money, so, you know.